All right, everyone, Karl Marx's grave was vandalized for the second time in like as many weeks. Um, I think over there in England, actually, which is it's funny why he would be buried outside of uh, the Soviet Union, I suppose. They should import his fucking bones to Russia. <laughs> Lay him to, no, they should send him to Venezuela to be with his people. Uh, it was uh, vandalized with um, heartwarming slogans like Doctrine of Hate, Architect of Genocide. And I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm of two minds, because on one hand, I mean, it's all true. Everything that's said on the grave, you know, 66 million dead, although that might underestimate it. Communism, one of the, is, is the bloodiest ideology that ever existed in the world. Like, it like has killed way more people than religion, at least directly. Like, you've got tens of millions dead in purges, tens of millions more dead because of the, the mismanagement of, of economies. It's like Pol Pot with his back to the rice farming initiative sort of bullshit. He's like, well, I'm going to take people who don't know how to farm. I'm going to kill like, you know, a third of them or so. And the rest of them I'm going to put out in these little collective farms and expect them to make a certain amount of grain. And then, and then because it was incentivized, always think of incentive when you're looking at policy. It was incentivized for the local sort of partyists to overestimate the amount that was being grown and so people never actually had anything to eat and like half the country starved. And now Cambodia went from having some degree of development to being basically, there is none. It's a completely pastoral, underdeveloped society with virtually no world economic presence beyond exporting some food. That's basically all it is. They're still suffering the effects now. So you have people like Pol Pot or Che Guevara, who used to love to kill, you know, random civilians. Um, you have certainly someone like Stalin, who his idea of fun was purging people. Pol Pot was the worst, by the way. He may have personally participated, and he actually took glee in it. Like, with these others, it's more like, well, I, I just don't give a fuck about you. With Pol Pot, it's like, oh, I give a fuck. I find it funny to pile your skulls into a mountain. Uh, he was a real sicko. All of the worst uh, dictators throughout history appear to have been communists. <laughs> They're the ones with the highest death tolls. Communism blows every other ideology out of the water. Meanwhile, like capitalism, its death toll is negative because the advances of capitalism have like improved lives for basically everyone. To the point where in the Soviet Union, you're like, oh, we've got an underground market economy. But here's what I would say about grave desecration. I don't care that Karl Marx is the godfather of the most bloody ideology in history. That's like me saying, well, you know, the American Revolution killed a lot of people, so some British general uh, from, from that era who's still celebrated over in England, I, I'm going to go there and egg his grave. It's like, no, fucking, he's a pile of bones. It's just a rock with some words on it carved and sitting on top of a dusty fucking skeleton. Karl Marx can't make any more ideologies. He can't write any more shitty books with his pseudo-intellectual garbled nonsense. Where he, where he pontificates theories that have been completely discredited because they have nothing to do with our uh, anthropology or proper understanding of evolutionary biology. Karl Marx can't spew his bullshit anymore. Neither can Stalin. That would be like, hey, I'm going to go to like Stalin's mausoleum and smash the glass, and I'm going to you know, play with his dead body and sm smear his face around it. Wouldn't, it's, it's symbolic, maybe, but it doesn't accomplish anything. You'd be better off, instead of vandalizing his grave, you're better off going and informing other people about the evils of communism. And this isn't the way to do it. No, it means like you're a vandal and stuff. The dead should be allowed to sleep. This isn't, how this, is this any different from saying, well, tear down the Confederate statue? No, you shouldn't tear down any statue. No, you shouldn't beat the statues. It's like when the Iraqis toppled the Saddam statue and stuff. Why? It's a fucking piece of, uh, of what was it, bronze, I think, in that case or cement or something, is <laughs> too cheap to afford marble. Uh, no, it's like the Saddam statue isn't Saddam Hussein. Karl Marx's grave isn't Karl Marx. His bones are there. Or maybe he was cremated. Maybe it's an urn buried under it. I don't know. It's like, yeah, he's dead, much like 66 million or so other people because of his stupid ideology. But he didn't personally kill these people, number one. And number two, he's not able to do any more damage. So let the, uh, let the dead rest, even if the dead are, are ignominious and horrible and everything they did in life was stupid, like Karl Marx. But be able to point that out to people. Say, look, Karl Marx was a madman. His theories were clearly wrong. We can prove that they were wrong. We can look at Cattle Hoyuk and tell that his primitive communism theory is totally blown out of the water. Organization is innate. People are not anarchic. A stateless uh, communist society cannot exist. Socialism is only a stepping stone to misery. Authoritarianism is the natural uh, root of all evil in its various forms, whether it's theocratic or communistic or whatever it happens to be. Karl Marx was a madman. He was a talentless hack. That's all he was. 
But, I mean, he's no longer with us, He's thankfully. He's just a pile of fucking bones. I mean, it's not like, I mean, the bones there, it's like, oh, disrespect to the dead. Okay, I don't really care about the moral proposal. Because when you think about it, all you have to do is scrub the stone. If they didn't even, like, disinter the body or fill, fiddle with the remains, this is just the, the marker above his actual grave. I can understand that. It's basically like, splash some water on it, scrub it for an hour, and it's gone. But, I mean, at the same time, it's like, what does it accomplish other than to make it look like people who don't like communism are unhinged? Vandalism is usually not a very popular act among most people in society. Again, you're literally better off, you're going to accomplish more if you go online and shitpost on a commie forum about how they're mindless stooges, which they are. You're going you're gonna, to, you know, turn more heads anyway. Troll the commies. If a communist is still alive and they're causing problems and trying to purge people or whatever, then you deal with it because they're actually a threat. Karl Marx can't threaten anyone. Unless a sinkhole opens up under his grave, you know, Satan decides to take him down further into the ground, be a little bit closer to the center of the earth and the nice warm lava in there, because, you know, it gets pretty cold over there in England. Uh, big problem. Uh, unless that happens and someone, like, trips over the sinkhole and falls into the grave and starves to death or something while they're inside, because, you know, gnawing on Karl Marx's bones, they're not recent enough to have any nutritional value. Uh, it may have a few dusty scraps of skin, that'd be funny to gr grind your teeth along his skull and eat up all of his fucking commie skull grease. Unless that happens, he can't hurt you. No, it's it's just a boogeyman at this point, he is a, and he is a boogeyman for many people. They probably have nightmares about some communist dictator coming to power because they lived through communism. People that were behind the Iron Curtain, people, that they, they'll all warn you, no, don't be a socialist. Meanwhile, all these decadent uh, idiots, all these uh, the pompous jackasses in the Western European government say, oh, 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 communism is great. It's the Nazis that are a problem, you know, the non-existent ones, primarily. Karl Marx is no longer in the land of the living. Thank goodness. Should be celebrated. You should have a celebration on the anniversary of his death next to his grave every year. But don't fucking, you know, leave him a vodka bottle so that he can drink it in the after. I'm sure that he needs a, a refreshing drink, considering where, according at least to Judeo-Christianity, he would certainly be located. That's about all. Peace out.